Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be testing out some Technique makeup products. They kindly sent me these products that I'll show you in just a sec. They didn't like pay me to do this or anything. So as always, my opinions will be mine. If I don't like it, I will tell you. So yeah. So yeah guys, before we jump into the video, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel then please do so. If you want to give this video a big thumbs up, so I know that you enjoy like testing videos and stuff like that and you want me to do more, then do that as well. And if you'd like to follow me on my social medias, they'll be linked down below. It's just Miss Sanzari for Twitter, Instagram and Snapchat. I love talking to you guys on there. So this is what I got. It was like a huge package that Technique sent me and this is like it's just in bubble wrap right now so it's all these products and I'm just going to take them out so they sent me three eyeshadow palettes and I got two raspberry editions which look like this they look really really nice by the way and I got one toffee edition and I really like the look of both of them the toffee edition is a bit more like it has sort of like matte neutral colors and a few shimmers and the Raspberry Edition has like a few different colours, so yeah. I also got the uh, Colour Fix Pressed Powder Contour Palette and the Super Fine Translucent Powder. And then I got two highlighters, the te Technique obviously, Get Gorgeous Highlighting Powders in Peach, Candy and 24 Karat Gold. I actually already have 24 Karat Gold in my collection. It is a little bit dark for me, if you saw my first impressions. Um, video like full face first impressions you will see that this was too dark so I don't know we have to see how these two work out and I got the primer spray and the skinny eyeliner as well as the foundation stick which I'm gonna use this one for contouring the pro finish lipstick in the shade Cheerio Romeo and then lastly I got the foundation stick which is like sort of my color and the Strove FX Cream in the shade Sunkissed, and then the Brow Amazing Eyebrow Gel. I'm just gonna put a headband on, and Techniques products are actually really, really inexpensive, and from looking at these so far, they do look really, really promising, so of course we're gonna see if they're good. I believe it's $2.99, but don't quote me on that. So I'm just gonna test out the spray. Guys, this smells like um, my dog, but it's not like a bad smell. I know, it just reminds me of my dog. Um, my dog doesn't smell bad, we have some sort of perfume that we put on him, so like, it kind of smells like that all the time, um, so this smells like that, so it doesn't smell like a dog, it smells like a perfume, sort of, it's lightly sort of fragrance. Okay, so the mist on that was quite, like, it wasn't really fine. And the actual product I think I quite like, like it feels really nice on my skin but definitely the spray is not very fine at all, it's quite like it kind of spits on your face but so I would definitely use this as a primer spray, like this is for your base so it doesn't really, it doesn't really matter if it's like fine or not because you're not putting on top of makeup, normally I would put this on top of makeup as well um, I was going to try that, but I'm not going to do it because it might ruin the base. Other than that, I think it's quite a good spray for your primer. So I have this foundation stick in the shade Sand, and I don't really know if it's my shade, and I normally don't really tend to use foundation sticks, so it just looks like that. I'm not sure if you can see. It's quite like peachy toned. I'm just going to see how it goes on my skin. Yeah, that's definitely not really my colour. Yeah, what I think I'm going to do is use my own foundation and I can use this kind of to highlight and I use the other one to contour a little bit and we'll see how that goes. Alright, so for foundation, I'm just going to use my trusty LA Girl Pro Coverage HD Longwear Illuminating Foundation. So I'm just going to blend this up. Alright, so I finished, up, I finished blending out my foundation, so now I'm going to take the Technique Foundation Sticks in the shade Caramel. And I'm just going to try and like lightly contour this. I already have a, I don't know how that looks, but I already have a contour palette, like powder one. This is like quite a pink contour shade. I'm not sure how that will look, but let's just blend it out with my Real Techniques sponge. Okay, I actually quite like that. We add like a, I don't know how it looks on camera, but right here, I can tell it kind of added like a warmth to my skin. Okay, I quite like that. I'm just going to put a little bit on my forehead. And then just 
the bottom of my nose and my chin. It actually blends out really, really nicely. Okay, that is pretty good. I actually really, really like that and I will definitely be using that again. So I'm just gonna try and use this foundation stick, the one in sand, but it is like really um, not my skin tone, so let's see what we can do with it. So I think we can just highlight with it. Uh, I'm probably gonna use a normal concealer under my eyes. I'm just going to, because normally I would use this sort of concealer everywhere else because I prefer like a liquid concealer for my under eyes and then just blend it is kind of clinging on to my hairs but like it just requires a little bit more blending and then it kind of just blends in but yeah it's not bad at all I quite like I wouldn't say I love it but it's nice like it's nice and now I'm just going to go in with a little bit of concealer under my eyes. I'm just going to put the wait, Rimmel Wake Me Up concealer. I'm just going to put all the prices and stuff of all these products down below. So now I'm just going to test out the Super Fine Translucent Powder. And let's see if it's really translucent. So yeah, it looks like that. I'm, and I'm just going to put my... It's slightly like... I don't know, it looks quite white on camera, but it's like... It's a little bit like sort of yellow, which is good because that's my skin tone. And I'm putting a little bit on my hand, it kind of disappears, which is good. Which means that it is translucent, which is good because that's what I want. So yeah, I'm just going to take this brush I have. It's like, it's from Morphe, I don't know which one. But yeah. And it's like quite finely milled as well, which I like. And then just also put it on my eyelid. Yeah, I quite like the look of that. It's just really totally like mattified my under eye, which is great. Yeah, I quite like that. I'm just gonna put some of this with the same brush on the areas where I put like the concealer foundation stick crayon thing. It kind of just like gets rid of my pores. I don't know, you can't really tell, but it does. I'm just gonna lightly do the rest of my face as well. And then we'll go on to something else. Okay, I think now we're going to move on to eyes. I'm going to come back with the rest of the face after. So as I said, I got three different eyeshadow, well not three different ones. I got three eyeshadow palettes and it's basically two raspberry editions. So I'm just going to put one aside. And then normally I would just use one palette, but for the sake of this testing out video, I'm just going to use both. Just like a closer look, this is the raspberry edition and then this is the toffee edition i think i'm actually gonna do swatches of these two palettes so if you want to see that i'm just gonna insert a clip now the colors so they actually look really really pigmented from what I'm doing now because I'm just gonna do the swatches after I film this look but it comes with a brush and it just looks like this and it's like it feels really soft actually it's a, like a fluffy brush and then a flat brush and they feel really really soft they, I think they're synthetic uh, I'm gonna test out like the blend I'm just gonna test out the brushes as well so they actually have numbers on each color so it starts with like number one and it goes up to number 16 so they have 16 different colors and I'm gonna start off with the toffee edition first so I'm just gonna start off with number one in my crease and they have quite a bit of kick up when I dip into it which is actually quite a good thing I prefer that because it means it has a lot of pigment wow that's actually really good it's really pigmented but um, I wouldn't say I'm a fan of this brush already because this particular one I normally go in with a really like big blending brush and this particular one is good if you just want to get in to here and right now I just want to kind of like distribute the colour everywhere so I like the brush but not right now for what I'm doing I'll use it in a little bit so far I'm really really liking this yeah I think I'm definitely gonna like this palette if all of the colours are like this I know I've only done like one sort of shade right now but 
I'm really, really liking it and they blend out so effortlessly. Now I'm just going to dip into number four, which is this one right here. Okay, the brush is far. And it's actually New Year's Eve today, so yeah guys, happy 2018 soon. Well, happy new year. So I'm going to take a little bit of the number two to blend out the edges. I'm just going to take the brush that it came with now and I'm just going to use the fluffy side and then go into number seven. I'm going to put it right in the crease, like there, because it really just fits in well in like the little crevice there. So yeah, that's really, really nice. I really, really like these. Like, I'm super impressed. I'm just gonna go into the raspberry one now because like normally I would just use the toffee one or just use one, but I just wanna try a different one so I can show you guys. I'm just gonna go into the raspberry edition, as I said, and I'm gonna go into number six, which is the super like bright pinky color. I'm gonna add that to the crease. Make it a bit more pink. Like that is super pigmented. I literally dipped it in like a couple of times. I think I'm gonna go into the shade 14 in the Raspberry Edition with the brush that came with Technique and just put it on my lid. I really like that. Super pigmented. And once again, I'm just using it dry. Can't wait to see what the eyeliner is gonna be about. I'm not really great with eyeliner. Like I'm, I'm, I'm only good at the ones that are like liquid eyeliners and this one I believe is not. So, I think it's like a sort of felt tip looking one. So, let's see how we get along with that. I think I'm just going to go into the Toffee palette now. I'm going to go into the shade 13. And I'm just going to wet it with the primer spray. It kind of gives off a more intense colour. I really, really like this look. Um, it's quite simple, but that's what I do with this brush. There is a little bit of fallout, but nothing crazy. This brush. I'm just going to put a little bit of the shades we use in our crease on my lower lash line i really like this brush though like not for not for just blending out normally but like it's really nice because it's not scratchy at all so this is a technique skinny liner and i'm just gonna see how this goes so it looks like this it is really skinny actually and normally i kind of struggle with these because they run out a lot so let's hope this one doesn't it looks quite nice. I hope it's matte. I think it's slightly shiny, but I'm not sure because it's still not, not dried down yet. It's good so far. I'm just gonna do like a little wing. It is starting to run out just the tiniest bit. Yeah, I have to say I'm not really a fan of this eyeliner just because I think the formula is really good, but just because of the felt tip, I tried to go over it, then it doesn't really work. And then it kind of messes up my eyeliner because it bleeds out a little bit. So, yeah, I'm not really fine. I'm just going to try and make it work and we'll see. Okay, guys, so after a really long time, I got something and I know it's not perfect. I know, like, it's like frankly, I don't care. <laughs> so, it's just makeup or whatever. The edges were, like, really, like, jagged because it wouldn't flow nicely. Um, but, yeah. Um, but apart from that, the blackness, the colour, all that is good. So, if you do like felt tip sort of liners, if you do like that, and if that's your thing, then you will like it. But I personally just don't like it anyway, so yeah. I didn't get any mascara or anything, so I'm just gonna take my Rimmel Scandalized Reloaded Mascara and I'm just gonna call my eyelashes. So here's the Pressed Powder Contour Palette and I'm just gonna open it up. Just looks like this. I think there's actually a highlighter in here. So I'm probably going to use that instead of the other ones because they're not my colour and it just wouldn't look good. So I'm just going to take a combination of this colour and the last one and use my blush brush to bronze a little bit then I'll just contour after. So yeah, it's going on pretty well. And I'm just going to take my contouring brush and take these two shades. Now I'm just going to go in with this highlighter, I'm going to take my Morphe M501, the highlighter is this one here, it looks like quite a subtle one, because so it looks like that, and I'm just going to put it right there, not quite pigmented, yeah I think that's quite nice, I think it definitely is subtle but 
it's nice. Am I able to use this highlight as a blush? It's peach candy. Let's just test it out. Yeah, that's quite a nice peach colour. I think it's really nice and luminous blush. It looks really nice. Like, it definitely has some sort of sheen to it, but I really like that. Okay, now we have two products left. I'm going to take this Brow Amazing Eyebrow Gel. Oh, it comes with a spoolie. That's really cool. And then, wow, this is some big eyebrow gel. No wonder it came in this packaging. Normally, my eyebrow gels are, like, really small. Like, here's... The Gimme Brow, and then here's my primer oh, and This was quite big, so this is a really big brow. Job. This will last me really long if it's good. Let's see. So first, I'm just gonna brush my eyebrows through with this spoolie. Yeah, not much else to say. And then I'm just gonna open up this. Um, oh. it's not eyebrow gel, as in it's like. It's like a lip gloss looking thing. It looks like that on my hand. It's supposed to like fill in your eyebrows. I thought it was okay, it's definitely a bit too light. I'm just gonna take a little bit and put it on like the outer corner because I don't really need filling in my eyebrows. So there's not much else to do apart from that bit. Otherwise it's pretty easy to work with. So yeah, that's pretty good. Not much else to say. I just kind of filled in a little bit and I think it was really easy to work with. It took me like literally like five seconds to do each eyebrow, which I really like. And I'm gonna test out a bit more and see how that goes. And now time for lipstick. So this one is in the show Cheerio Romeo and the packaging looks really nice actually. And I'm just gonna take it out of this plastic. So it looks like that and the actual lip colour comes out and looks like this. I really like that colour. So I have so much stuff on my hand right now. But that's what it looks like. I'm not going to put any lip liner on. Yeah, it's definitely not the most pigmented thing. But it is definitely buildable because I'm adding a few more layers. But I really, really like it because I love like nude colours. And it's definitely really moisturising and creamy. Like, it feels really comfortable on my lips. And I really, really like the scent of it. And also, the it's, like, quite pointy at the top, which is really good for getting in to, like, the cupid's bow and the corners of your mouth. So, yeah, that's basically the look, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me just take out this headband. See, so, yeah, I'm, I'm actually quite impressed with the way it came out. Like, this looks like how my skin normally looks, really. Um, of course, I use my own foundation, so I can't really say about that. But I did really like the contour stick. Let's go through everything. So the primer spray, I did really, really like it. I don't know, it hasn't really changed um, the way my makeup looks normally. So like, I haven't really noticed a difference with that. But the spray, it wasn't very fine. So I wouldn't use it on top of makeup, but under makeup it was completely fine. As far as the foundation sticks were going, um, the contour one I quite liked. It adds some sort of warmth to my face. The other one, um, it was alright, I guess. It didn't really do too much for me, but I wouldn't say it's bad. It was good. The powder, I really, really liked. Like, it kind of, like, gave my face the airbrush look, and it definitely was translucent. The eyeshadow, I really, really loved the eyeshadow. It was really, really good quality, and it was just incredibly smooth and pigmented, and it just went on really, really nice on the eyes, and I'm super impressed by that, especially by everything being so inexpensive. I'm really, really happy with these products. There was a few things I was a bit iffy about, like the eyeliner, I wasn't really keen on. I think that's probably my least favorite. The eyebrow gel, I thought that would be like um, the one you sort of brush through, but it was slightly different, but I'm definitely not mad with the way it came out. I'm gonna try it a few more times. It gave my eyebrows a little bit of different shape. Um, so yeah, and it came with a spoolie, which I really like because you can't have too many spoolies, you know. The contour palette, I really, really like. It gave me a really nice snatchedness, you know. It blended out super, super easily, and I really like that. The highlights here, the one I didn't use was the 24 karat gold one. I already have that in my collection. So yeah, I already have it here, and it looks like this. And it was definitely too dark for me, so obviously I didn't get to use that. 
but I used the other one as a blush, which I'm not mad about. I really, really liked it as a blush and it was really nice and pigmented. So the lipstick was really, really creamy. It feels really nice on my lips and comfortable. And the color, I'm really, really like glad because it's nude and I love nude. And I really, I really like the color as well. Is there anything else I missed? Oh my God, I forgot to use a product. The strobe FX highlighting cream. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Let me just try it now. Well, that looks really, really nice as well. I don't know if you can tell, but like there. So it looks like that and it just blends out and it has like a really, really reflective wet look on the skin. Let's see, because it's cream and it won't really go well on top of this powder. It's not lightly sort of tap it on. Yeah, I think that's really nice. Like, it added a really nice sort of sunkissed glow, and it is in the shade sunkissed. So, yeah, I like that. I'm definitely going to use it. I kind of mix it with like foundation and stuff. So, um, that's what I'm probably going to do with this, or just use it on, my, on its own if I'm wearing no makeup because it looks really, really nice. Sorry, guys, I just completely like forgot to use that. I hope you enjoyed this video, and definitely go check out some of these products. They were actually really, really good, just excluding a few ones that I wasn't so impressed by. But most of it was really, really amazing. And thanks again, Technique, for sending me these products. I'm really thankful and I enjoyed testing them out. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.